have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportions. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development. Hi, welcome to Inspire Gallery. Um, today we have Riots and Protests by Michael Ross. With Michael's show, we're seeing another aspect to the gallery's many different diverse shows uh, showing two perspectives of, of the whole area of protest from the perspective of the rider and of the police. This show focuses uh, on installation work as well as the artwork. And we got two weeks as well. military industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the wait. The exhibition visually portrays two factions protesters and the authorities. The protesters, through fear, injustice or equality, feels betrayed by those in power and takes to the streets to protest. On the other side are the police, the faceless representation of authority and control. They have the duty to protect the people and the property. It's when these two forces clash that a riot may start. The subjects and the modes of representation make the works disappointingly inviting with the intention not to console but to provoke. I take art and aesthetics as functional and for human existence as that of the creative artist can supply meaning to the despair and the absurdity in the world. Some works are betrayed using both of that. It's like looking through a window that has been smashed, either by a stone or a window. Offering a displaced vantage point into a critical moment. This is where the power lies in the work. Not as social commentary, but as an origin for introspective conflict. In a world we face a never-ending cycle of violence, pain and death. The works don't have much to do with that. On the contrary, art is the opposite force. It can enable us to approach, confront, talk about, and transcend the horrendous, the unbearable, the unexplained pain and the agony, our own dark side. We all have wounds, unique, different, hidden, or visible, that we carry with us. Beauty or art can heal that wound. This is the force, this is the beauty of art.